Hello guys, we got a new product for you. It's a smart way to open your door. So it's a door cylinder with Bluetooth. This is an ingenious and a new way to avoid the keys. I have a lot of keys from my home, from my uh, office, from my uh, uh, motor, uh, electrical bike. And uh, I want to avoid as many keys as possible. It's a new digital era and uh, we want to be as smart as possible and as fast as possible because these are the times. And let's make an, uh, an unboxing. Let's see what is the, this product, how it, it looks. I'm going to show you how to mount it. We're going to talk everything there is about this product. First, we got the instruction manual, English, Chinese. We got a brochure for the application. We got some stickers. Chief Product Experience Officer. Product Experience Officer Top Handsome. And these are sticky badges. A returning label. Inside we have the cylinder, a key, and some access cards. Smart card access. And inside also we got another key and some and this latex or plastic it's a protective plastic cover for the buttons you will insert it like this to if you have grease on your hands if you i don't know where you will mount it so uh, you will protect it from dust from filth from dirt this is the interior part which you, you will use it and this is the code the part for the exterior or of your door which you will have a code and you will insert the code to unlock it or by card access or by bluetooth you have three possibilities it's metal and uh, and it's uh, a strong metal it can work in the temperatures between minus 25 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees plus Celsius. It can be used for security doors, main entrance, wooden door and glass doors. And it has a pleasant chromey design. It's alloy and zinc, the material. Here guys, you will have a screw and with uh, this key that will come, there are two keys in the package. You will take out this part and the batteries will fit right underneath and with three AAA batteries you can insert it and you're good to go. Here you have a port for example if you forget to change batteries even it will remind you at 20% it will remind you to change the batteries so at 100,000 times you can use this uh, locking and unlocking so they are a lot. Um, it will if you forget for uh, some reason to uh, change the batteries you can feed it uh, with that port and the battery life it's estimated uh, one year more than one year on the other part i'm not going to show you it's a code that you will use to uh, put into your application with your mobile device with your smartphone and insert that code and uh, use it guys to register this device into your phone and into the uh, device application so let's begin to mount to the door manager password it's one two three four five six and now you can modify it so i push twice the lock and then one two three four five six now let's modify it let's put one two three four five six seven eight and nine Confirm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Succeeded, and you will change the code. It will give you a green LED. Accept and uh, modify and add pin. Modify one, two, three. Let's see. Wrong length. I think it must be six digits. One modified. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yes, six digits is a minimum that you got to put. So basically, the cylinder goes spinning without uh, opening your door right uh, here. And the idea is that you can unlock your door 
uh, when you put the code, let's put the code, one, two, three, four, five, six, unlocked. And now the cylinder, it's working, it's uh, engaging, let me show you, it's engaging, this cylinder also. And after a while, it uh, disengages that cylinder inside and you will not you, you cannot use it from exterior of course from the interior you can use the handle to open the door anytime the exterior door because it fits here and uh, i remove the ornaments the interior ornament and the exterior ornament are metal ornaments it will not work with this one it's too bad so i'm trying to reuse this ornament the old one and uh, to fit it in the same position to see if I can uh, put nicely and discreet and not to be visible and now guys so I reverse this ornament so I think it looks nice so now guys look how good it looks and it works also without a problem This is just for testing, I will not leave it, I will put uh, back, because this ornament also is for safety. This interior ornament has access to the screws, it is not good, it is not good to, to left it like this. I will see if I will uh, take some ornaments, uh, special ornaments for the exterior and the interior, I will leave it. I will mount them correctly, but I want to see if it works, so let's see. Now, if I turn the handle it doesn't work so so if i'm putting the password let's see the password one one two three four five six unlock unlocked so for example if it was locked i can unlock it and this is it it's very simple so guys i've found adjustments even to this keyboard this digit keyboard this handle, exterior handle. So uh, I uh, opened up, I opened up, I don't think it's necessary, but you can open up these two screws. And uh, I think with this, this screw inside, it's important to adjust the handle. I don't think those two black screws will uh, be needed, but this one you can uh, take out and I will put even my uh, ornament metallic ornament i will take it out and put the metallic ornament and reinsert it like this huh? so you can adjust it i don't think i can remove it to put that ornament but i can adjust it as i need to this handle so this is a good thing so guys we need to scan this qr code here with the application it tells us to scan allow and scan the QR code. Let's see. Okay. After we install the application, agree uh, insert a phone number. Let's see. So we will enter our country and the, the phone number. Okay, guys. So I'm in the application, and now we got to add some devices let's see how to do it discover we lock so tap the plus other than we lock okay so now guys we need to scan this qr code and scan the qr code let's see okay the lock id is on the interior cylinder i didn't copy or photograph that id so i got to take out the cylinder once again so i'm putting the initial the initial password unlocked so it tells us to put the gps apparently it works only with the, the gps turned on okay searching for the device now guys i'm curious about the locking mechanism let's unlock it with the phone now guys we can unlock from the application and we can unlock unlocked you see and now we can use to uh, open up or close the door okay 
and I'm interested in the feature, but I don't think it has, to approach with your phone while your phone is on and to unlock it. I don't know if it has, uh, I will look for the, in the, to the application to see if uh, this feature is available. So guys, let's go to the manager, one, two, three, four, five, six, and add card one, press the lock button, and then swipe the card. We have the green confirmation, the card is in. So guys, I hope you like this product. I hope it would help you and you can fit it to your office door and um, why not to be smart and use a Bluetooth lock. I hope in the future the manufacturer will develop the automatic unlocking when it sends you, when it sends your phone. I don't think the, this function is available now. I will ask and I will uh, get back in the comments if it has some kind of uh, automatically unlock when it senses your phone approaching this uh, door lock. So subscribe the button, please like this video and have a great day guys. See you, bye.